Yo, 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 another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. I haven't driven for Uber in a while and one reason why I haven't driven for Uber because I don't have a car and renting a car through Hertz, you have to rent it for the whole week and I don't want to rent a car for the whole week. Renting a car with Maven, you have to rent it for the whole week. However, there's get around, you can rent cars by the hour, so that's what I'm going to try out today. I'm going to try out get around, renting cars out by the hour, and we're going to see how that goes. Today is a rainy day, so there's a lot of good bonuses, and uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this works. So for now, yo, let's get this video started. First off, let's go over to the Uber app. Okay, reserve a car nearby with get around and start driving with Uber. Let's do it, reserve. I've already been looking at this car. This is a car I want to reserve, and I'm going to select it. It's really close to me. Well, hold on. I don't think I want to do it for that long. That's that's longer than I thought. Let's uh, this is let's select it for four hours. Yeah, four hours. The lunch rush. Four hours and forty-five minutes. Okay, so we're going to rent this red Prius. Select. Then I just have to update my card. Ooh, Apple Pay. We can use Apple Pay. Then we're gonna go back. Apple Pay, my promo code, and I'm gonna hit next. This car is to be driven with Uber. Yes, I understand. They hold eleven dollars, so I'm gonna hit pay. I guess now it's checking credentials, verifying my driver's license, making sure I'm good to go. And yeah, here we got a Chase Debit here. Let's go pick the car up. We gotta, we gotta go pick it up soon. My trip starts in two minutes. It starts at 11 a.m. and it's uh, 9.58. Let's go pick up the car. Yes, it is raining out here. All right, I'm super close to the rental car. It's right through this parking lot. This is all the get around cars. Not all these cars. Looks like there's some Maven cars on that wall over there. And my Prius is this red one right here. Cool beans, cool beans. Now once you get to the car, you just hit uh, unlock and inspect car. And they're going to send a signal to the car and it's going to unlock it. There's even a cell phone mount there. I could totally use that, especially driving for Uber. Just heard the doors unlock. So now I unlock the car and I believe the keys are in the glove box, but let's uh, put the booster board in first. Keys are in the glove box. Up here? Oh, here's the keys. Here's the keys, insurance, and registration just in case you get pulled over by the cops. Parking pass. I don't know what that is. And then I guess gas. Um, don't know how that works. I think we have to fill it up ourselves. I don't see a gas card in here. I have to. Figure out that and put it in the video for you guys. And I guess here is uh, your Uber driver kit. Oh, let's close this. Your Uber driver kit, and there's the 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 Uber signs, and then the driver permit, and then here's the card to get gas. I don't want to show you guys the numbers, but yeah, there's a card in here to get gas. This gas is included with the rental, which is really cool. So let's uh let's go drive for Uber. Let's cut this app on and let's go make some money, yo. Right now, I'm just sitting in the car, waiting on a request. Usually, I like to just do Uber Eats deliveries, but right now, I'm open to Uber Eats and passengers. Since it's a rainy day, it would be nice to sit in, uh, sit inside the car and just drive and not get in and out of the car. We'll see what action happens right now. I had the Uber app set to pick up deliveries and passengers, and I just accepted a delivery, and this is going to that church basement. So uh, yeah, let's go over to the church basement and pick up some flowers and deliver them. I sure hope these are not going to the financial district. Please 
be going like in the sunset or somewhere, like just not downtown. Cause I'm gonna have to like park and go upstairs and all that. I don't wanna do all that. I really don't wanna get out of the car. But it's not raining right now. It's all good. Hopefully it stays this way. I think there's more rain in the forecast, definitely. Let's go pick this order up, yo. I really like this whole get around thing. Different car every day, you know? Today, red car, tomorrow, black car, green car the next day. Just picking up the flowers here. Got a quick parking spot right across the street. You gotta be fast in this neighborhood. The meter mates are everywhere. Now it looks like I have uh, 34 minutes left on the car, so this is the perfect time to go get gas and get ready to drop the car off. One cool thing about the get around car, you don't have to pay for gas. There is a gas card and you can use the gas card to top off the tank right before you drop the car off. And let's see, um, where am I in gas? Looks like I still got a full tank, but I'm still going to top it off just in case. If you don't top it off, you can be charged a $15 fuel fee. So I think I want to make sure I top it off. Oh. Okay, the app is so clever, it even tells you the zip code to put in for the, the credit card. Interesting. And it looks like this Prius used $3.49 worth of gas, a total of one gallon. All right, let's drop off the get around car. And when you drop it off, you have to remove all the, the Uber stickers and put them back in the pouch in the glove box because the next driver may not be an Uber driver. And here we go, got the pouch here and then you just stick this back in the glove box for the next driver. And I guess you unplug this. You also want to take the key and stick it back up here. And then make sure you grab everything out and you're good to go. Okay, now after you do a quick check, make sure you didn't forget anything. Double check this side. No, I didn't forget anything. Just want to close the door like so with the key inside and here we go you want to inspect is the car damaged no is there an odor no safety concerns no so we're going to update and then key car we're going to lock the car so now they're sending a signal to get around saying lock the car because the key's inside the car I just heard the door lock. Yeah, it looks like we just parked the car. This is pretty cool. Looks like I'll be using Get Around again. Get around, get around, get around with Uber. So what was that like? Today was my first day renting with Get Around and I have to say I really, really, really like it definitely compared to Hertz because you can just rent a car for five hours or six hours or three hours or 11 hours or 12 hours or however long you want. You don't have to keep it for a whole week. If you are the type of gigster that you like to switch up, if you like to ride a bike, if you like to do task rabbit on a rainy day, you don't want to ride a bike, you can hop into a rental car with Get Around. Now I do want to point out Uber or Get Around, neither one of them paid me to make this video. I just made this video because this is something that I personally have wanted for a very, very long time. 
And today is my first day getting to try it out, getting to use it, and it's incredible. And I think that you guys should know all about it, especially if you're renting a car from Hertz and you don't exactly want to drive for a whole week. You don't want to drive for a full week. Why not drive for one day or two days? Just switch up your flexibility. I really like this whole partnership Uber with Get Around. I think it's really great. If you're in any parts of Soma in this area, oh my gosh, there are so many cars to choose from. And you don't have to pick a red Prius. There's like a handful of cars on there to pick from. And I heard just recently, Get Around added a whole bunch of new cars to the fleet. So that is really good news. That's always good news. But um, for now, I think I'm going to get ready to wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Yo, peace out.